the day, uh, there have been uh, very thoughtful minds, erudite minds, who have spoken to us already about uh, the changing expectations from the business uh, community and from uh, political authorities on corporate governance and on social responsibility. We have examined the political, the social ramifications, economic ramifications, environmental ramifications uh, that uh, require business to act in a responsible fashion. Now it is for all the thought leaders to bring together the learnings so far and give corporate India and uh, the corporate world uh, uh, some standards, some pathways which can take the issue of business responsibility and corporate governance to the next level. Uh, Professor King, let me start with you. What would be your advice to corporate leaders who are gathered here and who will be hearing you on uh, TV channels? Uh, how, whose responsibility is it? Does the buck stop with the CEO? Does it stop with the political leadership? Does it stop with the stock exchange? Who starts to give the first rules of corporate governance? Well, the answer lies in that responsibility and being responsible are two concepts that need to be married. Who has responsibility? First of all, responsibility ultimately lies with the board, which is a collective, and responsibility also lies with management, which is implementing the decisions of the board. The board, to be acting in a responsible manner, needs to identify the sustainability issues relevant to the business of the company. As I said this morning in my talk, water to the beverage manufacturer, and to embed that into the strategy of the business of the company, and then to make sure, from an oversight point of view, that management is implementing that decision of the company. You then need a harmonious working together of the board and management so that the company is seen to be and is a responsible corporate citizen. So all those, those three bodies, the company itself, which is sovereign and a person in its own right, the board, which is acting as a collective, management, which is implementing the decisions of the board, all three need to work together to make sure that the company is seen and is a responsible corporate citizen. That's why I started by saying the concepts of responsibility lies with the board and management, and the company must be seen to be responsible by all its stakeholders. Uh, well, uh, the point is taken uh, that uh, you can, the board would be a very good starting point for a short list of uh, uh, corporate governance rules which uh, all stakeholders have to obey. But uh, who ultimately ensures that the board itself uh, does its role? Is it uh, that you need the government to bring in uh, the rules? Uh, can boards be trusted to take the best decisions? Well, I prefer to talk about principles than rules, okay. because rules can be a mindless uh, tick box issue. But uh, there are principles uh, which involve responsibility, accountability, fairness in the treatment of your stakeholders, transparency. And as I said yesterday, by transparency, I don't mean nakedness. I mean honest reporting an honest disclosure of the good with the bad so the user can make an informed assessment about what the company is doing. So um, all that's got to be taken into account, but it's all based on a foundation of intellectual honesty. The board as a collective has to honestly apply its mind in the best interests of the company. In order to do that, the board's got to understand the legitimate and reasonable needs, interests, and expectations of the stakeholders of the company and weigh them up in the decision-making process, but in the best interests of the company. Okay. Well, uh, I will come to the one independent board member who is with us. But before that, uh, let me get uh, uh, to the sovereign, uh, 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 Mr. Sinha. You've been uh, in, in the shoes of the sovereign. 
and uh, uh, you know to what extent governments can influence decisions taken by boards and pull up boards that do not take these decisions. But uh, there are several instances where governments are wanting in governance, especially in the last year of their uh, term, when reckless promises are not uncommon. So what do you see as the role of the government? Uh, is it just policing entities, or does it begin by policing itself? What, what do you see as the role of the government in governance and in corporate governance? I think the government has uh, an absolute and direct responsibility in this matter, not only vis-a-vis -vis itself, but also vis-a-vis -vis all the participants in the process. For instance, if the board of a company or the chief executive of a company is not uh, performing the tasks according to the rules and norms prescribed, then who will uh, monitor that? It's the responsibility of the uh, dedicated wings of the government, which are charged with that responsibility. Government itself, as you said, would often violate uh, its own norms and rules and laws. And who will be um, overseeing that? Who will be taking care of uh, uh, pointing it out to the government, it is the elected representatives of the people at every level, the parliament in Delhi, the state assemblies, and in the local bodies, the elected representatives. So in our system, we have a, it's a system of checks and balances. We have a very active judiciary, which also often intervenes and directs the government what the government has to do. So the government must function, like the corporate must function, and discharge its uh, responsibility in a fair and uh, effective manner. If it does not, then we have systems which will um, force it to perform in the manner in which it's called upon to perform. Uh, since uh, Professor King pointed to the board first, let me get uh, Mr. Sharma, uh, the independent board member who gets an award today for his outstanding work. Uh, how, does the, how do you sensitize the board? And what all do you sensitize Indian boards to? Do you sensitize them to gender uh, 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 fairness, to employee fairness, shareholder fairness? environmental fairness, sustainability fairness, how much, uh, what, according to you, should be the board's uh, list of responsibilities? Well, I think the boards have a collective responsibility to all stakeholders. And all the issues that you referred to reflect the interest of one category of stakeholders or the other. Mm. So you can't really have just gender neutrality or gender sensitivity or you have environmental sensitivity or you have responsibility towards shareholders and creditors and employees. All these have to be handled together. And the role of a director, and I personally don't think that the independent directors have greater wisdom. I think it's a collective role of the board as a whole. They are all fiduciaries, including the independent directors, and they must therefore look at the interests of all stakeholders and try and balance them. In fact, ultimately, board, in a manner of speaking, in a business sense, is the arbiter of diverse and conflicting stakeholder interests. And the board's ability and neutrality would be judged how well they perform that role of balancing conflicting interests.